Hi, today I want to show you my portable air tank. I called it the Epic because I found that name somewhere on the uh, English internet and found it somewhat funny. Um, as you can see, it's made from an old fire extinguisher. Uh, I got two of them uh, for free on my local eBay because um, the disposal uh, costs um, about 50 to 60 euros here in Germany. Um, why did I build it? Because um, my air compressor is on the second floor and I had to inflate a lot of uh, bicycle tires or car tires in the summer and I don't want to carry my air compressor uh, in my house because it's very heavy. So what kind of modifications uh, did I do to that fire extinguisher? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, not very much. Um, I had to unscrew the CO2 bottle, remove this uh, bracket with my angel grinder, and then I uh, had to remove the contents of the fire extinguisher. And basically that's all. Um, for convenience um, I welded, um, yeah, sold it. I soldered this um, little pipe with a three quarter inch thread uh, on the top. So now I can use this um, standard three quarter inch uh, ball valve or th something else like this uh, Euro style connector on it. You can screw that easily on and then you can put your, your tools on that bottle. Whatever you need, for example, a blowout gun or something to inflate your tires. On the three quarter inch inlet, um, I connected something like this. Um, this is also a bell valve, and um, so I mounted it 90 degrees for convenience. Um, for filling the tank up, I just opened the valve, and after the tank is full, I close it and remove uh, the air hose. Um, about safety, of course, if you're dealing with high pressure, you want um, to keep the tank uh, up with it. And um, this uh, fire, extinguishers, fire extinguishers are rated up to 20 bar, that is uh, about 290 psi. Um, my air compressor only produces about 115 psi or 8 bars, so that's no problem. Uh, now I want to show you how to fill it up. As you can see I connected a Euro-style um, air hose connector on the upper side and I plug in a blowout gun. Um, here I open the ball valve and connect my air compressor hose to it. Now I open up the valve and then as you can hear by the hissing sound it fills now up with air. Um, when it's enough you simply close the valve and now we have a fully working air gun. Of course, uh, there are better solutions than this manual ball valve method, but it's, it's cheap and I use this only a few times in the summer, so it's okay for me. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. You have, I, I added a bonus video and I show you what we built this for. Have fun.